from my people supporting their business. Yes. So, you know, from my Senegalese brother at the beach. Yes. Senegal is everywhere, man. You know what? I used to do that. I was in his shoes maybe 20 years ago. Wow. Hey everybody, I just want to go What is it about, look how I look. Mm -hmm. What is it about husbands having to rush? I got dressed, I didn't even do a lot. I'm not one of those like makeup for a whole hour. But he's like, okay, I'm going downstairs. I, don't you get that that makes me feel rushed? Like, he wanted the room clean, so he was rushing me to leave. Oh no, he wanted me to leave. Oh, there he is over there. He wanted me to leave, to want us to leave to uh, be able to get the room clean. But I'm like, dude, you can wait in the room. But no, I'm gonna wait in the lobby. I'm asking the people why husbands can't wait. Husbands don't never wait. You gotta leave and go downstairs and go in the car and all this stuff. So, so now I had to. I, you see, you see this water bottle. I, look, I filled up a water bottle, cold water. Don't ask me for none. I cleaned. I made sure the lady came. She said, "You need service." I said, "Yeah, I'm about to leave." She said, "Cool, I'll come late." She gonna clean the room. But he's all stressed out. Like, oh, we gotta go. So they don't clean the room. If they don't clean the room, so what? Well, we ain't dirty. We can. We know how to make a bed. See, sometimes he's a village boy, and then other times it's like. Bulgari and I pay. They're going to clean my room. I'm just trying to get a balance. You want to get your money's worth. You pay for the hotel. You want them to do everything. You want no, discount. No, no. It's, that, it's not that. It's just because I know they have routine. Once that they pass that time, they're going to come back. They're going to be able to come back. Some people, some people no, sleep they just, in. They just wait. She says she's coming back. But she's still up there cleaning. She gonna uh, come. I'm just thinking in my head how I work. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so we're gonna try to see if we can go to the beach and see where it's at. Uh, but this guy, I feel pressure when you leave. Like, it makes me feel stressed. I'm in a rush. Oh, I can't put my lip gloss on because he's waiting for me. He's wanting to look nice and... I know you're gonna look beautiful. Presentable. That's why I give you time to look beautiful. I can just sit in here. When you wait in the car or you go leave, it's like, I'm not saying <gasps> where's she at? I was just watching your video. That's all. <laughs> all right. Because if I stay in the room, you're going to be talking to me. I won't be able you to. You don't want to talk to me? And after you leave, you're not going to have Wi Fi. I'm not going to oh, okay. He's, so he saved himself. He said he wanted to watch the videos, my, my videos. Okay. He's my number one fan. All right. Ready to go? Touche. Touche, let's go. Uh, the lobby of the hotel in the daytime. Look at those trees. Look at the decor. Every time I see decor like this, I want to decorate my house. This is the uh, snack bar area over here. One of the bars. There's a rooftop bar also. There's the Beethoven room. That's where we eat breakfast. And then over there, there's a restaurant on the other end. They have even a luggage wear. Isn't that perfect for the airport? So, yeah, if you guys ever come to Barcelona, this this is a close hotel to the airport. It's perfect. Close to the train, everything. Hi again. We just saw this beautiful pit bull. She was gray. Yeah. Like a gray black. Beautiful. That's another thing um, that we noticed is people have dogs in the city. And but they're very manicured, like they're shiny coats, all of them, even those little foo foo dogs with the hair, you know, shih tzus and stuff. Like, that you can tell their hair is like Brazilian blowout, very nice. Like, people walking, you would think that the dogs never get outside, but you see all these people with the little dogs. But we saw a pit, and and you can walk off leash. I've seen a couple of people walking off leash, two or three. And the pig was awfully, she was beautiful. And she, the owner went to go put something in the trash. She sat there and waited for him. And then when he started walking, she walked again. So that's cool that people walk their dogs off leash. I like that. In LA, you can't do that. But 
It's a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> a fine. <Offense. laughs> but the dogs be crazy. Like, like the dogs, when they're loose, no, everybody's not, scared of them. the dogs be crazy. It's the people be crazy in L.A. Oh, the dogs. States. The dogs feel our stress. That must just be what it is. <laughs> But all right, we're here at the train station again. If at, I come here, the dogs are coming. At the El Prat de Jovergat, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take the train a little further than what we did yesterday, and try to get on a bus. Well, our first time on a bus. Yeah, it will be, and then a metro, whatever, and then we're gonna try to go to Barceloneta, the uh, Playa Barceloneta, which is the beach here. So we're gonna check that out. Next time we go to Europe, you wanna go where? Milan. Okay. This is the train station. We got to the end of it, so we had to get off. <laughs> Next year. Yeah? Cool. Next year we can try Italy. Leave it up to you to find Senegalese all the time. Merci. Cool. See my people. Yes. How did you find? You was wrong the last time. Uh, the, no, from the from the train from station. The train station. <laughs> yes. No, I hesitated. I already knew, but I just wanted to figure out who, where he's from, to ask him questions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But this one I was sure. Because he had the Senegalese jersey yes, on. <laughs> and even the style, that's the style he was walking, the style he had a head on. Oh, he's one of my brothers. So. <laughs> you guys are everywhere. Yes. Sprinkled around in every country. How many that's, Senegalese? That's, that's, that's why we learn a lot. We that's live. four people. That's four people. Wow. That's four people. Yeah. And I think those ladies were too. I heard them speaking from. Look at the yacht over there. So pretty. <laughs> you want one? No. I don't want one. I'm good how I am. There's just more work to do. More work here. Yeah. More stress. More money, more problems. Be like, oh, what's a part of a boat? A fender? No, an engine. Oh, my fender broke on my boat. <laughs> you 
you think everybody from Senegal? You know there's other countries too. I know they are other countries. <laughs> It's a lot of Senegalese. Um, you gonna ask them where I can get a flag from? Um, Senegalese like to sell stuff. So I know where it's more attractive for you. You used to used to do that. They don't they don't know. I used to do that. You used to sell stuff like uh, souvenirs. Stuff in Italy. Oh, in the street. Streets like um. Maybe 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Oh, wow. I used to sell purses. Okay. Oh, you're going to go talk to the Senegalese people. Okay. Okay, so I didn't get to film the Senegalese guys, but he met some more. And here's another one right here. But I'm not gonna film them because they doing they doing their business and maybe it's not all the way legit. This all Senegalese people selling stuff. Oh he got reggae music on oh, just like in Venice Beach. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Venice Beach in LA it was a lot of Senegalese selling stuff. I used to think they were uh, Jamaican or Caribbean but people. Those, they have license, they have their own spot and all that. But yeah, we can't film these guys because yeah, we don't want them to you know blow blow up their spot, you know what I'm saying? Because anybody come through they gotta move. So but they have a license. I'm just thinking. If they house, don't, but, oh, okay. You know, I just don't want to. But we so tell them. Going anyway, so. so tell them again how um, I'm gonna go this side so you can see the beach. No, I'm just going this. Yeah. So tell them again. You used to sell stuff in Italy when you first moved there. Yes, when I first go there, I mean the first year, I did sell this stuff. Another time, this comes selling like a, the summertime. That's when you're the best. Basically, it's the same thing, so I know the routine, how it goes, and I know where to find them, uh -huh. the right spot to find them, and all that. Hola. Yeah. It's beautiful. The water looks so tropical. So you used to grind. Yes. That's cool. So this is the whole beach, I guess. Everybody's out. It's October. Wow, look at that. Oh, you got to give them a euro or something in the box. You got change? Look at that. But I'm filming it. You got your jersey. Show them your jersey that you bought from your supporting your peoples. Yes, I got this jersey. Barcelona just that I wanted to get yesterday from. I didn't get it. I only got one for you. Now I got mine from my 
from my people supporting their business. Yes. So, you know, from my Senegalese brother at the beach. Yes. Senegal is everywhere, man. You know what? I used to do that. I was in his shoes maybe 20 years ago. Wow. 20. In Italy. years ago in Italy. So, I don't know how it is. Cool. It's not easy, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Right. So, Hustling. You gotta hustle. I think we're gonna get on this uh, monorail thing. That's what he says he wants to do. This monorail. Oh what a, yeah. We just did. Let's go. I'm cheap. <laughs> so I don't know how much it costs. I we have, we have a coupon. Gonna, I, I don't promise we're gonna do that. All right. I'm just going to take a get look. Get the information. Get okay. The information. Deal. Fair enough. <laughs> And he's like, let's go on the thing and go back the other way. So when we get in line to go the other way and go back, then we can have lunch at 5 p.m. Because you don't want to eat dinner? Is that why? Oh. But I'm, I'm hungry now. We ate dinner. We ate breakfast at 10, so it was late. But still, like 2 o'clock, I can eat. Not 4. 30. 5 o'clock. By the time the food is going to be ready. But we're gonna go back to the beach and eat. Hopefully, it's not too cold. Me, I eat. I eat is convenient. Um, I have um I have some uh, mosquito bite. Not a lot, but like just like two or three. I guess they find the air when we around. Yeah, cause cause you guys, all the Senegalese people we met, they heard we was here, and they said, "Let's go fly across."
Hola guys. So I found my flag. I collect flags and this has been the hardest I think of all the places I've been. Finding a flag, all the souvenir booths, they're like, nah, we don't have it. I'm like, y'all don't be having y'all flag. Otherwise, if we didn't find it, we were gonna have to um get it at the airport, which go around and find the souvenir store at the airport. But I finally found a flag. I prefer to get it in the actual country borders. So I got a really big flag, so I'm excited. I just gotta get another one when we get back to the airport in uh in uh Portugal on the way back. So then I got two countries in one trip. Even though we didn't step out of the airport, we was there long enough. And we took the Portugal, Air Portugal uh, airline. So I count that if we, with all the Portuguese. <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Good morning. Our last morning in Barcelona. And it is 7.30 in the morning. But look, it's a little cloudy. But look how dark it is. This is why we overslept for breakfast yesterday. It's 7.30. And look how dark and like lit the streets are. People walking their dogs. My dog got a poop. <laughs> this is crazy. I woke up at 7 and it was darker than this. That's why. That's that Europe... Um, dark morning I remember in LA I used to feel like this anyway I'm gonna try to have breakfast early today and there was an indoor pool that I found I'm gonna try to get in the pool see you guys later okay swimming pool is this way let's go check it out mm -hmm. There we go, simple summer. Let's see if anybody's in here. Mmm, smells like pool. I think I have it all to myself. There's the pool. Ooh, nice. Huh, so it's our last day and we didn't get in the pool. Even though I have a pool in my house, but I don't have a um, an indoor pool. So this will be my first time getting in the pool when it's overcast and raining. Actually, not the first time because it rained when I was in the pool in my house before, but in the indoor pool. <laughs> this is my first, yeah, probably. So I'm going to have some fun before I get ready to go and maybe find the sauna somewhere. Hopefully the pool is warm. <laughs> that pool was nobody's warm. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was cold just like it is outside. So I think I stayed in there for like five minutes. I'm gonna go find the uh, sauna. Anyway, this is our last day here in uh, Barcelona. I've had a blast. This is, um without a doubt one of the most beautiful looking cities I've ever seen um, in terms of like architecture and, and, and the, the ocean and just like the colors, it's just nice, it's vibrant, it's not like a, a lot of um, older countries have old architecture and it looks, you know, shabby and stuff but it's really nice. It's really nice the combination of the, the way things are are put together. It's just it's a site for like parts of it look like LA, parts of it look like Venice Beach. It looked like um, Venice Beach in LA, um, Los Angeles. Um, it looked like like Medellin, Colombia, with the colors and the buildings and the mountains. They have mountains. They have palm trees. It's just uh, it's a gorgeous city, man. It's a gorgeous. So I've really enjoyed my time. I'm probably gonna get in the sauna and warm up. And then um, from there, just chill until we're ready to check out and head back home. It's raining on our last day. It's nice. 
We had three days of bright sunshine. Getting ready to go to the airport. Uh, the intro. Yeah, you wanna get in? He's waiting for two more people? Yeah. Okay. You can do that one in eight okay. How about you? What was your uh, favorite part? Sleeping. Phone calls. <laughs> phone calls, yes. You needed a vacation. He's a busy man. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh, your phone rings off the hook. I'm in the middle of saying something to you at starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. 7.30 Okay. The people must be really late. So we're going home now. Whoa. <laughs> it wasn't looking. So this really was nice because... Ah. la <laughs> gente. Mm-hmm. rush. But um this was uh, really special to me because it's my first um new country in in a year since uh in a year almost two years actually. Yeah. And, right, but that was that was um First time I went to Gambia was March of 2021, so that's almost that's a year and a half that I haven't been anywhere new. So um, that's that's special, and and because this place reminds me so much of LA, it's crazy. Like I felt like I was in Venice Beach. I felt like I was in downtown LA. Like I felt like it's just the beach, everything, everything. It's like the sun, the Right, except today it's raining. But even well, they know you're leaving. even they said <laughs> even the darkness of um, the morning it was like you know the fall time in LA and how the sun is out. But it's a little you know a little cool. I like that. I I really the food. Oh my gosh, the food. Everything made me feel at home here. I I feel like um I have other favorite countries or places I like to go, but cities but I think Barcelona is, is is inching towards the top of my list of all the places I've been um, and maybe because I'm not living in, um, in my home town anymore it means that much more so this was a great trip thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us and uh, next time you see us we'll be back in Africa <laughs> Peace out. Later. Bye. Black people, we the coolest, we the baddest, we the flyest, we the realest. I love y'all. Peace.